This is an overview of the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics. I'm Margaret Miller. In this video, I will show you how to add the metrics portlet to your dashboard and customize it for your project. I've already logged into ITG Center. To add the portlet, I go to the Dashboard menu and select Personalized Dashboard. The metrics portlet can be added either to an existing dashboard page by selecting the page in the left-hand column, or I can create a new dashboard page by hovering over the Add button in the toolbar and selecting New Page. I'll give this new page a title, and then to add the portlet, I click on the Add Portlets button. From the Category menu, select Project Management and click Find Portlets. Check the box next to Performance Metrics by Activity for a Project and click Add. Now that the portlet has been added to my dashboard page, I need to edit the preferences for the portlet. Click the Edit button located in the upper right-hand corner of the portlet. There are two preferences that need to be set for the portlet, the Metrics As of Time Period and the Project. The Metrics As of Time Period is very important in determining what metrics get displayed in the portlet. And it is a value that will likely need to be updated each time you view the metrics to ensure that you're viewing the metrics for the desired time period. Metrics from the start of the project through whatever date is selected from the drop-down menu is what will be displayed in the portlet. Click the Selection menu and select the time period. Once you've set the metrics as of time period, then you need to select your project. Click the menu and select your project. There are some additional preferences that can be set for this portlet. For instance, you can change the sort order for the data, you can adjust the number of rows that are displayed, and you can also adjust the columns that are displayed. By default, the portlet is set up to display the data by activity and to display all 13 metrics in the portlet. I'm going to leave the defaults as they are set. However, I do want to change the title for the portlet. I'll click the Change Title button located in the upper right-hand corner, and I'll enter a title. and click the Change button. Finally, I need to save the changes that I've made to this portlet by clicking the Save button. Now if I want to see the resulting page, I'll click the Go to Page View button located in the toolbar. On the dashboard page, now I can see the metrics portlet displaying. I want to switch over, however, to another page where I have three instances of the portlet on a single dashboard page. I set up each portlet with a different metrics as of time period. I did this so I could compare metrics for the current week with previous weeks so that I can look for trends in the data. This is a very useful way to use this portlet. However, just remember not to add more than five portlets to any one dashboard page. This is the end of Lesson 1, the second video in the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics Training. Now that we have seen how to add the metrics portlet to our dashboard, in the next video, we'll take a closer look at what is being displayed in the portlet and begin defining the 13 project metrics.